In this video, we spend time with a team at Palmview Nursery in Lusaka, as they give us an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at their massive production facilities, where they grow all the plants which they have on sale at their outlet in Millennium Village. So these here, so this is where we grow all our palms, as you can see. We've got lots of palms there, and then we'd like, and then we'll. This is part of the production cycle, this is a produ though. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the stuff. This is the stuff. Yes. you here. <laughs> yeah. So this is we this is the proper in. nursery if you're yeah. talking about Kefas, nurseries. Just bring, just bring the 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 the. the what do you call the basil, the wild basil that we have. So we, we won't go in here because we're worried about disease. Yes. So yeah. you can, this is where we grow our seedlings and you can have a look at them. Yeah. So. Do you have to do anything special Can't during those one. kind of um, coldest periods of the year? So this is, we're quite low now mm -hmm. because, because we're going to start planting double the amount of this now once the weather warms up. Oh, okay. Yeah, double the amount of that. But during the coldest times of the year, yeah, you're not... Yeah, we go a bit, we go a bit to... low, yeah. yeah so yeah. this is this is something new that we've started. We're growing this basil. Can you smell it? And it attracts bees mm, and, and butterflies and birds. So we're, we're growing a lot of this now and we're, going to, we're planting it all underneath our trees in mm. our vegetable garden so that we can, we can attract pollinators. Yeah. And the bees, yeah, the especially. Bees especially the early the bees, bees will the love bees, this and too, they love so it. And can you smell it? Can you see how? Yeah, it's really it strong. Smells like thanks, Kefas. Then this yeah. is the Alexandra palm, and we separate them, and then we grow them into each bag. I, I see. This is a Sofritzi. Can you see? It's a different oh, okay, one. Okay, yeah. Look, it's a very different one. Yeah. When, so. when, and when in a bag like this, where you have. Five. Obviously one that's so got we, so we, much we, stronger, do you... We, what we do is we get a knife, we cut like that. Come, he says, yeah. but tell them how you do it. So we, and then, so we for, don't disturb the lip. Mm -hmm. To transplant. Yes. We just to open the plastic, we take it out. Then we get a knife. Then we cut here, 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 yeah. and here. And we don't disturb the roots yeah. and we yeah. take and them uh, out like we, that. We don't even remove the topsoil. Yeah, you just blend, yeah. transplant the whole thing with that little yeah. plug, yeah. almost yeah. effectively. Yeah. But, but I'm just I wondering do. because here in the center, this one is obviously yeah, getting they, less. They're not supposed to do more than they're supposed to do four. four. Oh, okay, um, this I one's see. got more than normal, you know. Yeah, because when and they're yeah. in the center, then yeah. I suppose he's going to be crowded out. But this one is fine. You said this one's got five. Yeah, but they really, very well. I, I, yeah, I told them that they really should ideally put four. So you go. So we like to show mistakes as well. We don't want to show everything. So just to tell people it's easier that's why we've got these here for you it's better to just do four so you go like that and like that if you do five this is what happens and it becomes it's more difficult, difficult to, to take out like here yeah, can up, you yeah. see so ideally only four per bag mm. okay that's the best way to do it and but if it is a five you're going to see now how it is yeah it's, it's, not, it's, it's very it's, it doesn't it grow is, well. uh, it yeah. has been it has been overgrown by its yeah. brothers and sisters. So we want sisters. to show mistakes as well. Yeah. You know, mistakes can be made. These here are the strelitzia seeds. That's how they are. So from this, we grow strelitzias. Yeah, and he's going to bring us some more. Kefas is going. Kefas runs the production center. Um, oh wow! So he's got these are yeah, actually germinating. So, so these now. these are bamboo. These are the bamboo seeds, and they've just germinated. These are cycathroarces. They're, they're, they're quite big. Mm -hmm, so this one's big. just germinating. We we grow we grow our seed in peat. This is stage one. We grow them, and this is um, which one are the which seeds are these? Um, just what are these? I forgot. Oh yeah, that's why we don't know the name. This no, is a so this new is a palm. mystery palm. Yeah, this is a new palm that it was given me by a colleague from New Forest, and it uh, something ate the 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 the, the top. Mm -hmm. So even when I sent the pictures, he couldn't recognize it. So we we don't have a name for it. They're new, new, and they're very, very, a very rare palm. But we'll eventually find the name for it. Mm -hmm. And these are the bamboo. Yeah, and Kefas is going to bring us some more. That's why we didn't know which ones these were. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are royal palms here. Yeah. These are the royal palms, and Mr. Zimba, just show them one. Let me hold that for you. Thank you. 
So this is the um, from germination. Yeah, yeah. Then we, they plant, get we plant them. We plant four in a bag, and then we separate them. Just yeah. yeah, we separate and them. And how long, Mr. Zimba? How long would they be in this bag before you transplant into? No, uh, uh, they would be about uh, six months. Six months. Yeah. Uh, yeah. About six months. Oh wow! So there's quite a lot of activity yeah. involved, and then. Yeah. From the sowing through to growing on for a few months. Yeah, and you and can then see that they're just starting to go underneath, so it's time to move them. This is this is a, a, a very good um, a good sign that good, it's time yeah, to yeah, go. Yeah, this is Kefas. He runs the 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 propagation. He's the center. germination master. Yeah, he's the germination <laughs> master. That's Kefas, and this these are Alexandra seeds, and these are Chambaronia. Chambaronia. These can you see what different? Are they, these, these are also palm seeds. We'll okay, show them. I'm not sure. I've yeah. never heard of the chamaronia. Well, the one, it, the, the the flame thrower palm. We got a flame thrower palm. Red leaf. The red leaf. The red leaf. Palm, oh yeah. yeah, I've seen the that recently leaf, yeah. actually. There it is. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so quite it. impressed actually by yeah, the. It's a, it had what they called it a flamethrower because it produces a red leaf. Mm -hmm, yeah, like a, almost like a burgundyish yeah, yeah. kind of color. Yeah. Quite lovely. Do you want to put that in? Thanks. Canvas, yeah. So this is the this is called the Cascade Palm. It's one a beautiful, beautiful palm. It only grows to about half a meter, mm -hmm. and it cascades this way. And it's a lovely palm, especially if you plant them and mass. You know, yeah. and, and shade tolerant too. And sh is... only shade tolerant. Yeah. yeah, they don't. They they will grow in sun, but they don't grow as well. Yeah, yeah no, they, they don't get stunted grow as a well. lot more and yeah, they need a lot yeah, more yeah. water at that yeah. stage. They're and beautiful and they've got a, a dark, dark green foliage, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's called the Cascade Palm and it's one of the Chamberonia families and it's a cataractum. Yeah, no, they're, they're fantastic they're palms. They're beautiful, yeah. Again, I have used them as an indoor plant. Yeah. But, but you do them for a period indoor and then they, have to take them back We found them that again. they struggle a bit indoors, these ones. They, they, really, but for veranda, found, patios, yeah. Oh, they just do so well. What I find and indoors is usually with the drier kind of air temperatures, you get tip burn a yeah, lot more yeah, on them yeah. very quickly. But look how happy burn. these are, and they've just come out of winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. even even starting to put on flowers that I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. seeds. Those are seeds. Yeah. Oh, these are now seeds. These are the seeds. Yeah, they're going to start seeding just now. They're going to start seeding just now. They've mm -hmm. just started. They, those are these. These are the seeds. Oh, is it? Yeah. These are the seeds. Yeah. Nothing is ever wasted. Everything is collected yeah, and sowed. Yeah, we collect sowed everything. Yeah, we collect everything. And this is another growing shade that we have here. So here we are in shade house number two. Number two. This number is shade two. house number two. This yeah. is shade house number two. And this is our bamboos here that we're growing. And we had a big. Uh, this is what happens when you're environmentally friendly. Yeah. You know, you can't use chemicals and that. So it's the survival of the fittest. And we left this just to show you. You know, today that. Yeah. So we've graded them and we've put the healthy, the healthier ones here. And we're going to start using copper oxychloride. We've been. Mm. We got a lot of black spot. Yeah. Bamboo palms are very susceptible to black spot, but they're slowly getting better. You can yeah. see they're getting green ones. But this is how this, this is how bad the infestation can be. Yeah. So we left this especially to show you that you know it, it's it's a it's very difficult and tempting to use chemicals. Yeah. Very difficult and Do you tempting. then call some of them? The ones that are so, the yeah, worst we, affected, yeah, well, you'll when they're call really, We look at them and then we just take them out like yeah. that one. All of those and we take them to a place where we call sick bay and we keep them there. But we kept this here to make it easier for you. Yeah. 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 So we've got some beautiful Bismarcks behind here. We've got most of our, most of our, our lovely, these, this is what they called, this is the teddy bear palm, but we'll show it to you in the, but you is can that, even. That's also yeah, because of the fuzzy. Because uh, of the fuzzy, yeah. The, because <laughs> of the fuzzy hair here. It's called the teddy bear palm. It's called the La, La Centelliana. You know, I, I would have also imagined calling it the velvet palm or something it's like called that. The, it's called the Dipsis la Centiliana, the redneck palm or the teddy bear palm. 
That's what they call the it. Red yeah. neck palm. Yeah, I don't understand why they call it the teddy bear instead. Yeah. <laughs> so these are the Bismarck palms. This is the Bismarck, mm. uh, the Bismarck nobilis. It's a beautiful palm. It's one of our biggest palms, and uh, we only have a female. We don't have a male. So I saw a male in flower in 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 um, in um, what area was it? Uh, What's, it, what's that area? Where, where do we go and get the, the, the spores from? Uh, it's a suburb, I'll remember it. And I, I knocked on the gate and they, they, I asked them, they had a male Bismarck growing mm. outside their gate and they kindly allowed me to go up and cut... Collect the pollen? Co co collect the, po the spores, <laughs> the po pollen, and we... Eh? It was in Roma. Well done, in Roma. <laughs> and we and we collect the pollen and we, and we we pollinate our female from them. Mm. So that's how we've got our seed now. But we've planted more of them in our palm park. Hopefully, one of them will be a male. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. I think the one thing that I you know. The Bismarckia has such a lovely kind of bluish to whitish hue when the, the, the fronds get mature and things like that. It's unmistakable amongst most palms. Yeah, and it, it needs the, the most space, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a massive up, palm, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, very, it very does, big yeah. in that sense. And these are our, our, our common palms. This is the, the, the Cunninghamiana, the, these are the Alexandras, the A, coming, A Alexandra. Yeah. And we've also got the Cunninghamiana, which are called the King palms they're very similar yeah and um, you can see the Alexandra palm has got a, a, a whitish tinge to the back and the the king palm the coming Hamiana has got little threads we'll try and find one for you we've moved them we don't want them can you see how white it is mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. these ones we keep here because now we're going into into a very hot month and they yeah. don't like they, they, prefer, they, the they, they prefer the cooler so they stay here if you notice that we've got more Alexandra palms growing here what we call the king palms and the and the and the king and Alexandra palms we grow them here yeah. because in the natural habitat they, they originate from Australia they grow on riverbeds uh, they, that's why they need species, that's eh? why they need so much water and yeah. they need to be kept cool when they're young they really struggle in the sun they yeah. like dappled shade yeah but then they, they adapt get, yeah. and then they adapt they're very good yeah. adapting yeah so this is the red Latin palm it's a beautiful, beautiful. one yeah beautiful beautiful it's a red Latin palm is this related to the Bismarckia or is this Yes, different... it's related. We've got the red Latin, we've got the yellow, and we've got the white, the, oh, what they okay. call it. The, they're beautiful ones, yeah. Yeah, and the color is quite stunning. The dark reds too. To and we've got the, the bottle palms. They really struggle in May, June, July because they're truly tropicals. They grow in mm. Durban by the sea, you know, and they struggle here. And over here you can see the older sizes that we have. Mm. We sell big palms as well, yeah. And this is the Mediterranean fan palm, also a beautiful palm. And it has, it's a multiple stem one and it goes, it goes like this. There's just so many palms, you know, that we propagate. The thing that a lot of people tend to think with palms is that they are either tropical or deserty kind of plants. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, it's so widespread from, like you say, riverine species that from require Australia. quite a bit of water. This comes from the Mediterranean, you know. That also gets a bit palm. of snow on it at yeah, times yeah, too, yeah. and yeah, still yeah, survives. Course, They're yeah, very they some survive. very hardy palms. Yeah, you can see that they're hardy. Yeah. Mm. So this is a smaller one, and then that's a bigger one. And we just wanted to show you that we kept this to show you that they can die. You know, they do mm. die on you. So that one's dead. Yeah, it's trying to survive. We don't know whether it will survive. But these are the different sizes. A very popular palm as well. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah, you can see that three, that triangle, one, two, mm. three corners there. That's a triangular palm. Now, is this, is this, this is an easy one to grow in Zambia? Yes, quite easy. Uh -huh. Yeah, it doesn't like fertilizer. This is the only palm that hates fertilizer. You've got to put organic matter on it to grow. Uh, okay. That's what we've learned, you know, over time. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose there's been a lot of ups and downs in learning how to grow these because exactly. there isn't a, they yeah. don't come with an instruction manual, no, isn't no, it? No, they don't. No, you don't. And then, yeah. Bernard, what would you say are the kind of trends in, in palms? Like, what are, what are people really 
What have they been buying more recently versus maybe in, in, the, in the most past? Yeah. If we go back, let's say, five years ago, this was actually quite popular. Yeah, I remember a time where you couldn't find them. Yeah. They were just right. unavailable, we effectively. Completely. Yeah. yeah, remember, yes. yeah. yeah. Um, but at the moment, it's mostly Cubans and Alexanders. Is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, these ones, these are our biggest sellers. And these are the Alexandras. These are the Alexandras, yeah. What some people call them the king. They're so similar, the Alexandra mm. and the king palms, you know. So they're the, it, the, it's actually got a Greek name. It's Archondo Phoenix, a Cunninghamiana. That is the name yeah. in Greek, which means the king of palms, Archondo <laughs> Phoenix, you know. But it so comes from Australia. It comes from Australia, <laughs> but it's got a Greek name, yeah, and uh, Cunninghamiana. And the other one is, is Archondo Phoenix Alexandra. Mm. So they've got quite long. And they, there's two of them in, 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 the, in that species. And yeah. n n very little to distinguish them. Like I said, just the underleaf and the growth of the bulb. The Alexandra grows straight and then the other one grows like round. Is but it? sometimes okay. they, they, they deceive you, you know, they grow, they just grow round and you have to look underneath to see which is the Alexandra and which yeah. is the, the king. And palm. they're both from Australia? Both of them originate from Australia. But then presumably in separate locations. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, because they, like the, the Kentia palm comes from the H-O-W-E, Howie Islands in Australia as well. Mm -hmm. Lots of palms come from Australia, from Thailand, mm -hmm. you know. But we've also got beautiful indigenous palms in Zambia. Yeah, no, definitely. We've got we've got one of the we've got the raffia. We'll show it to you the raffia. The oh, raffia you've got raffia growing. We've got a raffia growing, and that one has nearly a five meter frond yeah. with the red, and they're protected by their 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 their, their environment. They grow in swampy areas, yeah. and people are scared to go there, except for the Capiche springs. You know, in the Capiche springs, yeah. they grow in the in the hot springs just outside yeah 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 no they're beautiful palms they they're got some of the yeah. longest fronds in the world yeah, i don't think it is fully the longest but it is it's close one of to the it. longest yeah one of the um, longest fronds and it is monocarpic it grows and once it flowers and it that dies, stem off. dies yeah, yeah. and new yeah. seeds and things like that have to and grow it's we, yeah there's a little young princess palm here these are the young ones we've also got a date when we put them in can you see? Oh wow, so yeah, yeah. two years. Yeah, so this is a two so years two. growth, yeah. They need to be put in a bigger pot so they'll grow faster. Yeah. The bigger the pot, the bigger the, f the faster it will grow. The longer they stay in a pot, then presumably they start to get stunted. Isn't they it? do, yeah. So that's yeah. another problem. You've got to try not to stunt your plants. Yeah. You know, you've got to be very careful about that. Yeah. Well, this is becoming a fast base seller, isn't it? The Chamberonia, yes. the 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 red the the the, 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 oh, the, the flamethrower, flamethrower palm. These mm. are them. They're so beautiful. Can... They're so beautiful. And they, they, the they, leaf, they yeah. just, it's a pity there's not a single red leaf to show you. You could come here and, we, yeah, it, it keeps, shows red. Mm. It's red, it's red. It's going to be a blood, blood red. Yeah, no, I remember seeing it and being very impressed by yeah. that. And, and Mr. Zimba, He's how here. long will the red color last before it Until turns it green? matures, the leaf matures after, and then it goes... It opens this one, uh -huh. and it comes the red leaf. It takes uh, two to three weeks. Only two to three weeks, okay. Madam, yeah. yeah. I think you're going to show in the... You've got the oil palm. Oh, the biggest ones, yeah, they're there. Yeah. Come, let's show them. Are you actually getting seeds from These them now? Were, yeah, we are, we are. Are you pressing your own oil? No, no, we're not. It's very controversial. You know, it palm is. oil has become so controversial now. So controversial. Well, mostly just because they're cutting down... Um, A habitat for yes, the orangutan exactly. and all of them. And, yeah. and mangrove swamp and things and like that. And because so we, have we have indigenous ones in, in Luapula. Yeah, it's we do. It's the exact yeah, same, yeah. but it's just a wild type. And things yeah, and yeah. So they're in there and they grow... Because what they could do is they could actually use the seeds for, for pig feed, you know, to mm. feed livestock. Mm. And they could regenerate that. And, but they use palm oil in everything. Yeah. They use palm oil in, 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 um, in biscuits, in cream, in, in yeah. everything. And, but in, 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 in um, where is it? Not Kigali. In, 
Oh, there's an African country where they, where they, where they, they cook with palm oil. Ghana, West Africa. Ghana, West Nasty Africa. They all West cook with, yeah. with, with, with palm oil and they're yeah. very healthy. There's nothing. Mm. So maybe because it's not, what's the word? It's not purified and they. It's also the wild form that they're using. It's, it's the wild the form, not the cultivated form. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for and, sure. Uh, and, and it's it's growing naturally it's not yeah, something that yeah. they're mass making massive plantations for yeah. so we, even in in luapula if you're driving up um the road between mansa and Kawambwa, you'll see uh, yeah. palms that are just growing and people have done and pressed the oil to sell yeah. and things like that yeah. but it's naturally existing these are not things that people have gone yeah. in and Rwanda they use palm oil and they've mm. been using it for centuries yeah. and the thing so if you look here in the bush we keep all the leaves on we don't Jonathan you can just film there so we, we collect all our twigs we use all this in our we left that to show you we use it in our in our compost we we leave the leaves on underneath the trees to ge regenerate the trees Trees. This is our very own indigenous palm. It's a reclinata. It's yeah. a phoenix reclinata. They grow along rivers in Zambia, all over the, all, all over Zambia. Very own. <laughs> they grow very well in our yeah. in, in our plot as well. Yeah, and they and they and they're great. And the birds love the seed. Yes. The birds love eating. They distribute the seed. it far and wide, if anything. Yeah. yeah.